Okay, so that's recording, so you know what that means. Do -do -do -do. Coding challenge. And uh, the one we're going to do today is called Equilibrium Point, okay? And don't mind that, that's called Balance Array. That's just the name of the file I created because I couldn't come up with the, I just didn't remember the name. And I decided, okay, I'm gonna, let me just call it Balance. And then I just come up with it now, like, oh my God. Anyway. What's an equilibrium point, okay? So, this is a really famous program task. It's really well known in the programming uh, community. Um, why is that? Because it's Google, companies like Google or Amazon, or even Twitter or Facebook, especially Facebook, um, Twitter not so much, um, they love um, interviews where they ask you to sort a race or to find things in a race, etc., etc., okay? So, this is a really, 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 really well known one, okay? And I probably, I suppose you probably heard of it, some of you, okay? If there's someone watching this video, because there might be no one watching this video, uh, which is probably what it is. But, um, okay, and then also, I tend, well, it's like a tent, I was gonna say, I tend to look at the the code, but it's because I need to look at the code when I'm writing, obviously. So that's why I'm not looking at you directly. And then I look at myself there, okay, so that's when I'm looking at myself, that's when I'm looking at the code, and that's when I'm looking at the terminal, okay, well, no, I might have just a quick video. It's not gonna be a quick video. Well, it's it's supposed to be a quick video because I was thinking about it before I started recording, but I just skipped talking and anyway. Okay, so basically, this function is has to. Did I explain it what it is? Uh, did I? No, no, I didn't. So, and if I didn't, well, <laughs> again. Okay, so basically, um, we need to find an equilibrium point. What's an equilibrium point? An equilibrium point is, for example, of an array is when the element on the left. Okay, so for example, let's just pretend minus two there. Okay, so the uh, if we're just looking at minus two, minus two there. So index three is going to be an equilibrium point. Why is that? Because the numbers on the left added up. So minus seven plus one plus minus five plus five, which is minus one, is equal to minus four plus three, which is minus one. Therefore, this point here, which is the index, is an equilibrium point, okay? So we need to write a function, which is going to return the first time it finds an equilibrium point on an array, okay? And how are we gonna do that? Well, the first thing we need to do is just think, okay? So I think we're just gonna write a function. So it needs to return, oh yeah, and also, if there's no equilibrium point, it's gonna return minus one, okay? so. And it's a return a value, which is an integer, so let's just create that first. Um, we need to pass an array, which is... Uh, um, what else do we need? We need to pass the size of it, okay? And it's going to be also an array, just to make our lives easier, okay? Because we don't want to keep talking forever, do we? Okay, and that's going to be return zero. We want to stay here forever, do we? You don't want to watch me while there's someone watching. I bet there's no one watching this video. Um, and if you are, just a nerd like me. Sorry. Um, just messing. Okay, so... Uh, okay, we have this function, right? Uh, okay, so now we have this function. Let's just start with it, okay? Just when I start talking, I never stop. Okay, so let's just call that number and let's just call that size, okay? So how do we start? I was thinking maybe we could do a for loop and it's gonna go through every single element in the array, okay? And um, so that for loop is gonna keep track of what index we're reading at the moment. So that for loop is only gonna keep track of the index, okay? So let's just pretend index i is equal to 3 at this moment. Then we just need to get uh, add these numbers here and add this, the other numbers here. So the numbers on the left and the numbers on the right. Okay, so we need a for loop for that. How to write a for loop? Well, that's just basics. Um, int i is equal to 0. i has to be less than size. That's when it's size. And um, i plus plus. Okay, that's, we're getting size from the argument. Okay, or parameter if you want to be posh. Um, so now we have a for loop that's going to go through every single number and it's going to keep track of the index of them, okay? So what do we need now? Okay, we need to create an integer called left, called left, and we need to set it up um, initialize it as zero and another one called right. And these numbers, these integers are going to store the sum, the addition of both sides, okay? So now we need to do a for loop, okay? A for loop for what? A for loop for, oh yeah, to add the things on the right and add the things on the left. How do we do that? Well, I was thinking, oh, actually, no, look, I was going to do a for loop and then have an if statement, but I might just, might not be as efficient. So let's just do one, two for loops, okay? One for one la for one size and another one for another size, okay? So uh, we need to use another variable, so we're going to call it j. So j has to be less than, okay, so j has to add the things on the left. That means that if i is equal to three, this, okay, with the index, then we need to add 0, 1, 2, okay, so I has, J has to be less than I, and a J plus plus. 
Okay, so that means that now left. Um, oof, I'm not testing anything. That's just gonna give me so many errors. Um, oh yeah, mis Well, no, no mistake. No, yes, <laughs> no, yes. Um, so left has to be equal to left plus uh, num i, not num j actually. Okay, be careful because that's this little loop, the j loop. <laughs> we, we can call them names if you want to. You want to be cool and posh. Um, the j loop is going to go through the things on the left. Okay, so that's what the things we need to add. So that's going to be num j. Okay, not no not num i. I was going to make that mistake. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Uh, and then in j is equal to zero. So we're going to now add the things on the right. So no, j can't be zero. J has to be um, i plus one. Why is it i plus one? Well, that's easy, easy. Let me just write it down. Is i plus one because if we need to add the things right after i, so it needs to start from here and um, and it's going to stop when i needs to be less than size, which is the entire thing. So it's going to add the things on the right. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, little thing, okay, just little course, okay, just if you don't want to listen to me talking, okay, just give 30 seconds. So what happens, right? And I said already that I keep looking at the camera, just just me being silly, okay? Uh, ooh, what do I want? I just feel really powerful right now, you know? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Ooh, I made a mistake. See, that's, that's not, that should be J. And then J++, okay? So now we have a little for loop, and then we're going to do the exact same. We're going to do right is equal to right plus a norm okay so now right left has values of the things on the the addition of the items or elements in the left and right has the things the elements of the right blah 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 so now what do we do oh yeah so now we have to check if right and left are the same okay so now we have to check if right no left goes first because I'm a lefty so if left is equal to right then what do we need to return Oh, yeah, we need to return i, which is the push, no, j, no, i, i, why i, because if i is here, okay, left has these values, right has these values, therefore, we need to return i, okay, and what happens after the for loop finishes, well, it's going to return minus 1, okay, so, if the for loop happens, and i and i, left and right are not the same, then, what happens is that we need to return minus 1 to just tell the user, whatever, that there's no, such a thing as that, okay? So, how do we test this? Okay, so, you know, just before I get, <laughs> this is, I, I should just do like a bet, okay? And um, just stop the video, you can just skip forward a little bit, and just tell me how many errors and warnings I'm gonna get when I compile it, okay? Because I haven't compiled it yet, so that's just something I tend to do. Um, and we should do like a little bet, you know, and see <laughs> who gets it right the first. Um, and, no cheating, okay? So, uh, what I'm doing now, I'm just gonna test the solution. And how do we test the solution? Well, we need to do a printf to the console to see. Answer. So, we need solution, and we're going to pass an array, which is r. And what is that we're gonna pass? We're gonna pass 7, which is the size. Okay. Pray. Uh, not just. Oh. Oh, didn't say that. Okay, so, um, let's compile. Did I save? To save. Oh, one error and one warning. Ooh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what have I done now? Uh, if you got it right, congratulations. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm missing a sem semicolon. Expect a semicolon for the for loop. Oh, yeah, I put a comma here. Oh, typical noob mistake. Nah. Okay, no errors, no warning. Okay, so we're gonna write congratulations three. Okay, so that means it works. Why does it work? Because basically it's returning two, which is the middle, uh, the middle point. Okay, so if we were to turn this to one, okay, change the number, it should give us either minus one or another number. Oh, six. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. What that means is that a um, minus seven. Plus one is minus six, minus one, one, minus three, three, zero. That means that the entire thing here is zero, and also this value here is zero. The, la the very last one is zero because we set it at zero, so that's right. Okay, so how about we just write down that one as minus one, okay? And then let's just test it, okay? Like, 
Okay, uh, you can just turn off the video now. Okay, that's just me playing. Six. Ooh. That couldn't be six. Why would it be six? If it's one, how would it be minus one? Mm. Oh, yeah, it's the same because even if we put that as a thousand, okay, that value is not being counted, okay, that's why. So, how about we test array two? And the size is eight. Okay, I got this array, I got this array from, from the internet, okay, so don't think I just spent three hours. One! So, basically, minus one, all these numbers should give you minus one, so do in the comments, I'm not gonna do it, but we know that it works. And thanks for watching, and sorry it was so long, I just keep talking to myself. Um, and just let me know if you watched it, because <laughs> probably no one's going to watch it. But if you did, just put a comment like, oh, Carlina, watch it, blah, 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 I love you. <laughs> okay, so, thank you for watching, okay, and hope this, like, like it helped and, you know, might be helpful for the future when you go to Google and you, you know, you do an interview, I'll be like, oh, thank you, Carlina, and then you just write a comment, okay, so, after you go to an interview and they get this problem, just come back to this video and just comment, oh, Carlina, thank you, you were right, blah, 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 I love you. <laughs> I'll give you a million years. Okay, anyway, bye-bye, okay? Thank you.